Okay, good morning, everyone. Let me know that you can hear me. There's a lot today. There's just a lot. But interestingly enough, it's pretty clear what to do, so. Lucky me that I have a rating system, because if you didn't, you'd think there was a lot of good stuff today, and there isn't. But there definitely is a lot of gaps. Oh, this is a good look at today's thing. May 14th, more errors arise from inhibited indecision than from impulsive behavior. It's a really good one. Market new high today. I've been calling it all week. It's Thursday. So today, new high in the market. Expect bullishness all around in the market. Nonstop. I mean, it just, if we get up to the high and then go over today, we'll at least get up to it. And if we get up to it, and I'm talking about the SPY. The Qs, see, I just don't think the SPY is going to get over the high without the Qs. So it'll be interesting to see how this plays out today. The SPY looks like it's going to get over the high today. It's almost there already. The Qs, not so much. The Qs will get at least up to 111, 112 if the SPY makes a new high. If the SPY does not make a new high today, it will retest it, and then we gap up tomorrow morning and gap up in the post-market tonight and gap up tomorrow morning, and then we'll get bought up in the gap. But it'll be interesting to see how this plays out. I wouldn't do any more continuations in Hertz. That's absolutely played out. Beautifully called by me, three days down. Don't do anything with that today. Racks, you can continue to watch. DD, you could continue to watch. M, I did not look at. I see nothing here. Don't, don't do anything. This may very well work, but unfortunately, it's going to be spready and whippy and jerky, and I don't think this trades out cleanly. This might work, but I don't think it's going to at all, actually. Uh, this is decent, but it's going to be a snail. I don't think I feel like dealing with that today, and I do have somewhere again to go today, and I'm not even ready because I spent so much time working this morning. That I'm not dressed and ready to leave the house here and I, all I've done is look at so many gaps here today there was so much to look at so I can't be in anything long for the long haul today but you could be in this to a target you could be in this to a big target I didn't put any big targets in the room in this today just so you know nothing that I wrote for the targets was any kind of dream target 65 64 is the morning target for this I, I don't see how that doesn't get there either. So this is what I'm doing. Any questions?
luck today, everyone. And good luck to me. I don't want to go on this, this is mad. Okay, if I do this, the stop's going to be 67.30, and that's wide. I I don't have the entry yet, though. Oh, all right. Here, I'm staying with this. I don't have the entry yet, though. Stop's going to be 67.30 if I take it as of now. It's going to be 70 by 30. 70 by 30. 70 by 30. And don't take it till it hits. I actually figured this would be bigger than this, so. Just wait. If this doesn't hit here, I'm not in it yet. So just wait. Just wait. I can't look at anything else right now. I want to play this. This is going to take all my concentration. All right, just wait. That never hit. No one should be in it. Wait, wait, wait. No, there's nothing here. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. JC Penny, JC Penny can short right in here with the stop at 875. I'm not doing that. They put it at 877. 877, JCP, if you want it. There it is. There's a call. I'm not doing it because I'm going to stay with the KSS. But there you go. JC Penny, I just gave you a call. Put it 77 to stop. You can just short it. It's already hit. Okay, it's going to be 40. I'm going to do 99 by 40 in this, and it's going to be very aggressive. 99 by 40, and this is aggressive. 99 by 40, I'm taking KSS. There, there, get it, get it. Get the stop in, KSS, 40. This is very aggressive, and if you want to, here, you can, you can take it. You can take it at 94. I'm already in it, though. 94, you can take it. I'm already in it, though. I'm already in it. I'm already in it, and you can be in it. And this is aggressive. This is aggressive, but if I get hit out, I'm going to stay on it. I really gave this a big stop, though. No, I had to because of the spread. Stop is 40, and I took it, and it really didn't hit. I'm just trying to find some way in here without the stop being jimongous. If I get hit out, I'm retaking it. I can, I can live with it. That could have gone and broke there. It still might. Here, hold on. No, I'm out. I'm out. I'm hit out of it. Just wait. I'm going to take it again. I'm not off of it. I just got stopped out. You should be out of this here. I'm letting it rally, and I'm staying with it. I told you that was aggressive. It really didn't trigger. I was just trying to find a way in with a small stop. I really want to find a way in this with a small stop. It's 
open here. Let me just read. I still don't think I want to do today. And I just called JC Penny to be in it. Boy, that would have been beautiful if I had broke there. I, I don't know what the stop's going to be in this, but I'm really going to try to get as good of a one as I can. If you did that with me, you're hit out. You should be out of it with one loss. Okay, we're going to take it again. It's going to be 55 by 67.20. Crap, 55. It's going to hit soon. 67.20 there, there. Oh, my God, I get filled the whole thing. There, there. I'm, I'm in. I'm in. You can still take it here. Try to get it here in the 50s. Crap, I don't even have a stop in yet. This is hitting so fast. Put it at 68.10. 68.10, you can put it tight now. 68.10, no room over 68. That just hit very fast. Here, you can still do it. It's trying to back up. Oh my gosh, I barely had any time to figure it out there. I barely had any time to figure it out there. <laughs> this is moving wild. Oh, this is what I expected this to do. That's kind of why I took it down here. Now let's go over this. All right, this is it. That's it. You got. You, this is it. This is it. And one shot and done here. This can't flip over the high. Let's just double check the stop. All right, you can still do this here. I kind of panicked a minute. I didn't get filled full right away, but then I did. Anyways, I'm in it. Stop is 68.10. That is plenty of a cushion, and it's 12 cents over the number. And what I really don't want it to do is I really just don't want it to go over 68. If this goes over 68, it's going to fail. Actually, this isn't that bad of an entry. 60 cents something. It's not that bad. 40 cents would have been better. We really have to get this to run like good now, though. Let me see what JCPenney is doing. Uh, look at this JCPenney. It went all the way right down to the target. Insanity. It went to eight. If you did JCPenney, that was a great call. Oh, my Lanta. JCPenney went to eight. It went to the target immediately in the drop. Did anyone do it? I called it. You could have just got this all the way down. I should have done that too. What the heck? KSS is going to work anyways, though. Here, you can add more under 48. I should have done them both. Hey, ay, ay. What a nice call. Did anyone do it? That was almost three hours in here you just made in five minutes. Somebody tell me they did JCPenney. It went right down to the target. From where I called it. I should have done that too. It's just too much to do. All right, let's just see here. You can add on this under 30. Let me just see what that would do to my price. Oh my gosh, it's JCPenney. I, I, why didn't I do that too? I guess nobody did it because nobody's answering me. I guess nobody did it, huh? I'm not giving this any more room, but I'm still in it. I'm not giving this any more room. Well, I'll, I'll give it, I'll give it 15. Here, I'm moving it to 15. I'm giving it 15 now. 68.15 is a stop on this. JC Penny was the one to do, and I and I called it, and I could have done it myself. It's too late now, though. I'm I'm in it. What do you mean I'm already in it? There's no, it's, you're you're either in it here or you're not. 
JC Penny's gone now. I just can't talk or look at any of your questions right now. I just missed a great call I made that I could have done, and now I'm in this thing, and this it, ha it just has to hold here now. Gosh. All right, here we go. More under 60 if you want it. Actually, that would be up through our price. Oh, there. I didn't even take more. I didn't even have a chance. I was just going to add there. I couldn't. I didn't even. I didn't even have a chance to even figure it out. There. It's going. It's going. It doesn't matter. I'm already in it. We're in it. It's going to work. Hey, I was just going to take more. Well, now, see, this is just going to drop here. I didn't even have time to figure it out. This, this thing is just too wild. I'm in it. I'm in it. I was going to take more at 60 and it just broke on through. So, and really I would have been taking more risk, which, which would have been fine because that was the confirmation. Th this is a great call, but I wish I would have done JCP as well. I really wish I would have. Who killed it? Be honest. Man, where I told you to put the stop held within four cents. Damn, am I good. We're going to make money in this today. 64 is the target. Let me look at the market. <sighs> it's not ready. It's not ready. Just not ready, but before the end of the week. All right, here we are. This is this is set itself now. It's done. It broke on the five as well. I I just I was gonna figure out under thirty. Hold on. This is just gonna keep going now. I'm gonna just I should have taken more up there. Here, no. I have what I have. Here it goes. It's just going. It's just going, 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 and going now. This is a great call. Here. I'm exhausted. And I really shouldn't have taken the first trade. I was just, I told you that was aggressive, but I really thought it was going to hit and go right in there. And I was trying to find, I didn't want to take a dollar stop in it, basically. So I really cheated the entry. So I cost myself a one hour loss in there. It was unnecessary, but it would have been worth it in the end. It's, it's not even going to matter now. It really is not even going to matter because this target is massive today. And this didn't really break through the low yet. <laughs> but it's not going to go over the high and it's, it's going to work. <clears throat> All right, so let's just see here. Uh, I might take more if I get it back up here in the 60s or the 50s. Let's see. Stop still has to be the same, though. Six, no, I'm not going to take any more unless it backs up in the 50s, and it may not. If it does, I'm going to try to get some more in here. 68, 15 still the stop, though. You're taking more risk. And don't do this if you don't know what you're doing or can't take the risk. Again, all of this is aggressive. That's why you have to learn what you're doing. All right, wait, hold on. Just wait till this bar closes. Time of the day is 9.42. Well, maybe we can find a place to lower the stop. Let's not give up hope. Hold on. Oh my gosh, the original stop held within two cents. I thought it was 06. This bar was 06, this bar was 07. I moved it then to, or 08. I moved it then to 15, but look at that. How's that for exactness? All right, so the market's red, which is fine with me. Here, JCPenney, if you want to short it again, I'm not going to. The move is the first one. Stop is 850. 20 cents to scalp it down. Could this break eight? Yeah, yeah, I guess it could. I guess it could if it does 780 is the next target, but this was the one and I called it. You know. Moonraker did JC Penny. You're still in it? You're you're not really still in it, are you? It went to the target. It went immediately to the target, Moonraker. Tell me you're not still in that. I wrote the numbers in the room for the target. I hope you're not. That was it. And I'm not sure if it goes back down to the low, but I'm just saying. All right, let's see what this number is here now. 66.73, 66.76. Oh, you 
you've got to be kidding me here. Look at this again. All right, I, I'm not talking, so I don't jinx myself. This is still going to go on to work, but this is very whippy, which I kind of do remember about this. I mean, the, the price point here is 60 some dollars. You know, <clears throat> at one point it was up near the 80s. This, this, is, this is just how these kind of stocks trade. And we don't normally trade stuff this expensive, but the gap was good. JC Penny, you should have already done and you should have been all out of it. If you do it again, you're scalping it. And if you did it the first time, there'd be would there be no reason to do it again? And actually, if I had done JC Penny, I might have not done anything else. Because this really might be done in here. Because that was the move and it went to the target. And you just say thank you, market, and you're done with your day. But I didn't do that first one in there, even though I called it. I had time to do it. The stock doesn't move that fast even. It's not like JCPenney is whippy like this. <laughs> but Okay, here we go, KSS. You can take more here if you want it, but I really can't lower the stop. It just retested the high there again. I, I, can't, I can't lower it. So I'm in it. It's going to go into work. It's just taking a little time in here. Very whippy. We're doing everything right, though. I mean, we were really doing everything right, and I hope you followed me today. I don't think this gets the momentum until... I do think this gets momentum, actually, under the low. I don't say that about everything, but that's when it's going to start to turn red, and the selling will really come in. So that number is 6675-ish. And this was not easy today. And this really didn't trigger. I jumped the gun on this because I thought it was going to hit. And I was trying to find something that wasn't going to be a Jimungus stop. In the end, it's not going to matter. Who held DD yesterday and got the move in it? Besides me. Anyone? Hopefully everyone. That's why you gotta have conviction. And look at the conviction on this. Traders are trying to buy this today. They were trying to buy the double bottom and buy it for a gap fill. And it's a short. I told you it was the best gap today. It's gonna work. Look at this. Here we go. Woo! I am good! I am great. Go, KSS! Under 66.75 and traders are going to buy this today as a gap fill and it is a short. And it was the best gap today and I told you and this sucker is going to rock and roll. 64, just go. Boom. 9.48 and I have things to do. So do it. Spy. See what DD is doing. This is a great call. DD, come on, come on. No. Okay, JC Penny and the second call is working, but you gotta watch the low. If it doesn't break eight, just get out there at the bottom. The best call though was the first one. And here we go. Typical, 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 typical. Okay. Time of the day is 948. Now, what am I gonna do with this? Here, 10 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 10 o'clock. Do your best to hold as much as you can till 10 o'clock. You got 12 minutes. It's forever as far as the morning goes. You got to get some red in this. It, it hasn't even barely started. I'm having problems with the mic. I, I, I'm not even going to have time to meet with the people until Friday. You'll have to live with it. You can hear me, can't you? There's nothing I can do. When he, Dave is like, KSS was insane. What do you mean insane? Insane meaning you thought it wasn't going to work? Or what do you mean insane?
I can turn the mic off. We can just sit here and you can just look at my charts. If you're having a conniption, take some off here. For those of you that like to piecemeal out, I'm not getting out of any of it. Just FYI. But if you can't stand sweating a bullet through it, you're up anyways, then take some out. I'm letting you know here. But I'm not. And that retest of the high was a confirmation here that this is going to go. And it, it did it more than once. I mean, it did it like three times. And look. I think it's Dave, what Dave meant by insanity. Now that's conviction. Did you hold it? Yes, Discipline Dude took some off here and he had the conviction. I had a lot of conviction in this today, but I had, I worked so hard this morning trying to look at all the gaps to make sure I didn't miss anything. Why? I was looking for something easy. I knew this wasn't gonna be easy. I knew the gap was good, but I knew it wasn't gonna be easy because I knew it was gonna have a big stop. And I remembered it was whippy and I knew it could be spready and I just, I just knew. I knew and I was trying to find something easy because there were so many things to do. And I just wanted to make sure that I didn't, didn't miss anything. I called the best two things. Nothing else worked. I called the only two things that even worked. Let's double check. Crap. Didn't work at all. Well, this worked, but it still is crap. And this, this is crap too, even though it worked. Wow. Actually, it looks like nothing was easy today. Actually, looking at everything, JCPenney was the easiest one in the first trade I called. And I just didn't do it because I was too focused on this. And I didn't want to miss it. Here, here. That's what I'm talking about, people. 952. 952. Drop, 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 drop. Here. We got it. 10 o'clock. Mm, do I want to get out of the whole thing or do I want to? No talking. This is a this is such a good call. I have no words for myself. I'm really pat myself in the back today with this because this was so stinking hard. Some days I don't know how to do it. I, I don't know how I call these things in front of you people and try. I don't know how I do it. I, I really don't. You people think this is easy. This is it's easy a lot of days for me, but this was hard today. Market setting up like a long at 10 o'clock. And a gap that I thought would run immediately, but knew would run at some point. Right, we're taking a long time to get over the high. It's just going to blow when it does. But we are holding, holding, holding. We held yesterday even though we were red. We held the day before even though we gapped down. Every day we even do anything that's red or drop or gap down or do anything. Every moment that the market trades, it is bullish. It's, it's the most bullish thing that exists right now except for Netflix. DGLY, you tried to do but couldn't get filled? I didn't try to do that. Okay, one more break through the low here. Between now and 10, 15, I'm just going to take the whole thing because I have things to do today. But like I said, and, and I don't know where it's going to go, but it, it, I'm, it'll at least get to 66 and 65 something. But to get it all the way down to 64, you may you may have to hold this. Like you may have to hold it into into lunch or after 11 o'clock. If you have time to do that today, it's definitely worth your while. I just don't. 
And actually, if you did JCPenney and this, you could have just taken this all out in there and you could have had just two great trades right in there. You could have done JCPenney twice and this one trade in there and just got all out and, and, and you could have a huge, massive day. <laughs> I really want to try to hold everything I can in this. I I would if this goes to sixty five though this morning. I'm really going to scream. Let's just take a look at that. All right, let's not talk. Doing JC2 would have made your day. Why didn't you do it? Pay attention here. Here's another idea for those of you. You could put the stop at break even. You could put the stop at break even if you want to. If you want to try to hold it, it's going to break below. But if you want to try to hold it, put the stop for the rest of break even. You get out of half, put the stop for the rest of break even. Giving you ideas. I have to be patient for milliseconds in the morning, but it takes every ounce of strength I have. It's it's hilarious, actually. <laughs> so impatient. <laughs> it feels like these minutes, these seconds, these milliseconds that we're trading. It's they they feel like weeks, and they're not really because. <laughs> but it's pretty hilarious, actually. just when you're in and you're up a lot and you and you know they're going to go and often when you hold them you end up doubling the money you're up so that's why we got to do it but we have to do it and there's nothing wrong with this there's nothing wrong with this and it never did anything wrong and it looked like it was going to but I never said it was and I never said it was and then I even gave it more room and the original stop would have held and it did May Jack is saying patience has been one of the best lessons for you being in the room. Good for you. Obviously, you needed it. DD was a good, good, good lesson yesterday. Absolutely. 100%. You're invested in the trade. You liked it for a reason. You had the conviction. You have to let it play out. Here we go. New low in KSS. Under the number. I think it's 30. 31. Yeah, I mean, I, I like to get out in the morning. It's just, I really, really do. And even, you know, I do like to get out in the morning. And and, and actually having things to do in the afternoon, it, it helps me. The only issue has been, like, me having to get ready. If I have to leave, like, the house at a certain time, then I'm not dressed. And I've been lately, but I had trouble getting out of bed this morning. Early. Uh, 72. <sighs> just so much in my mind. 10 o'clock. Here we want to break the low at 10 o'clock, 20 cents. It's nothing. Come on. Just do it. Time of the day is 9.59 if my clock is even right, which I don't even know.
but if you want to get out of some here, you could. I mean, you're, you're up a dollar here. You're up a dollar here. You're up more than a dollar down in there. You can get out of some of this right in here if you want to. You can. You can do it if you want to. You get out of the whole thing if you want to. I'm not, but you could. You have to decide how you're doing your money management. the day is 10. So we've hit on the 15 minute even. It's triggered on the bigger time frame. Let's look at the 30. So that's next. We got we to wait for the 30 to hit. And the 60. And I don't think there's any more trades to be called in this. Tempting to add more when it goes up? Yes, except for I'm not changing the stop. So if you do, where are you going to put it? Like there's no proper place to put it. That's the problem. And you see how this is trading. It's very poop, 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 flippy. I shouldn't even say whippy. It's it's not whippy. It's jerky. It's, it's fast. It's fast. Hey, I'm not going to argue with fast. Fast is good if it's moving your direction. So I'm not going to complain. We can't complain at all. We can't complain at all. These things, we've been getting them. We're doing well. I didn't do anything on Monday. I mean, we're doing everything right. I really should just be doing all the things I'm calling, though. <laughs> Between today now and then, was it yesterday or the other day? No, it was the other day. It's like, what? With the hurts? Yep, this is going to break the low right in here now, right between now and 10 and 10.15. Which one did I have on the watch? Which one are you talking about? KSS was rated and watched. You put everything in the room was the first one. Yeah. But I had the information. It's up there if you scroll up. In fact, let's see what I said about it. Here's the numbers I put. Let's see. Oh, crap. Where? Let me see where I did say the resistance was. I just want to see if that ended up. I think it, I, I would have had to redo everything by the time it opened, but let's just see here. Here it is. Wow, here. I mean, so this, this counts, people. This counts. I, I got to tell you, this counts. Okay? This counts as a hold. Uh, that counts. Of the least level of the resistance that I put in there. Look at that. This is, this is perfect. Actually, now that I just saw that, that gives me the confirmation 100% conviction this is going to 64 today. Look at that. Here, this is how you stay with it. This is how you stay with the trade. Listen to what I'm saying now. This is very important. I just double-checked then the numbers I put in the room, which I have here on my sheet. I can't believe I put it on my sheet. But anyways, I just wanted to see what I put. Do you see that? The least level of resistance I put it held. And therefore, this is going to the target. And it did it very quickly, despite the jerkiness of the original position. This is going to go. It is going, but I'm saying it's 64. It gets there. And I, I just don't know the time for that off I'll be in it or not. Th this will be a massive move from the entry if you hold it to 64. Massive. And I knew this had the potential day to run. That's what I was looking for. A good one. Um, oh, got to be careful. Right, that's counts, trader gal. That's close enough. These are areas. Support and resistance are areas, and so are targets. And, and in fact, let's look at the first one now. I didn't even say 66, so it should just break right on through 66. Yeah, just let it break 66. Just gonna. This is where we're at with DD yesterday. We're waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting, and we snoozed and snoozed, and here this goes, and DD went too. 
There it goes. Got my tamarind above me. I traded it so well today. I wish it was Friday. Here we go. Here we go. KSS under 31. Let it drop. Here we go. Nice, nice look to this chart now. Just let it go. Let it fall off the planet. Let it, it barely has even gotten going. It hasn't even moved yet. It's barely, barely begun. You must try to get the maximum moves. What if we get up tomorrow and there's nothing? And if we get up tomorrow and there's nothing, then I'm really doing nothing. Mark it long, though. Although we usually get something on a Friday. But once again, I like to be out quickly, particularly on a Friday. You stinker. Look, it didn't break 31 yet. You're out of JCPenney now, just retested the low. Yep, I told you, it may not break that low. That was a massive move for that stock of the day. Massive to happen so quickly. Don't be a piggish. If you did that trade in there the second time around, you're out. You're, you, and even if it goes, you're going to make 10 more cents. It's just not worth it. And if you rally back 10 cents to make 10 cents, that doesn't make any sense. Do you understand? You don't hold a trade and give back money. Like, I'm holding this to make another $2. Do you understand the difference? I give back 50 cents in a rally to try to pull $2 more out of the trade. You don't hold JCPenney for 10 more cents to make an extra 15. That makes no sense. This is good. That's where I'm thinking in my head about money management. That's why I don't get out of a trade sometimes and I'm only up one R. It's about that in my head that I'm thinking, is this worth it? How badly do you want it? How badly do you want the money? Is this worth it? Sometimes I take a loss and I'm up in a trade. Who does that but me? But the reality is that I think if it's worth it and you see the ones we get. Here we go. KSS under 66. Focus. All right, hold on. Time of the day is here. Just, I, I have to look at the market. No. Oh, yeah, the market. Okay, I'm not paying attention. I have to stop talking here now. Market, mark, market's going to rally. Let me just figure it out. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm just getting this ready here to take half out of this or one more drop. I'm not, I don't want to... If the market is going to rally, and I'm just going to, I'm not out of any of this yet here, but just, I think this continues to break in here, but I just got to watch this now. Yeah, it's going to keep going, but this is moving so fast, like the speed of light. Someone short 100,000 shares so it falls off the planet. <laughs> Time of the day is what? Ten oh eight. Okay, let's let this five minute bar close. Let's we'll see what the high ends end up being in that. Let's see what the high of the day ends up being in the five minute here. Try to just give this a little bit more time. Do you want 10 cents to be a paycheck? You're funny. But you can get to that point once you up your size. But how can you do that unless you know what you're doing? And, and part of that is not only knowing the rating system, it's having the conviction. You see me. I'm a great example of that for you people. You see me do it day after day after day. You see me have conviction in trades then that end up failing and I take the loss. But look what happens in them after the fact. We reviewed this with the ones from the other day, the racks. I mean, we don't have time today because I can't stay late. 
but we're going to go over that rack. So there's a massive lesson to be learned there. The lesson is about conviction. And, and, and you, you, you just cannot trade without it. You just cannot trade without it. It, it almost doesn't even matter if one day you have conviction and happens to be wrong. You just take the loss in the one risk unit. Look at what happened today if you didn't have conviction and DD and a million other examples and we're up. I mean, this thing moved more than a dollar, but let's just try to pay attention here. I'm not letting uh, the entire thing get over 50. Over 50, I'm going to pull out half. There, I just took half out. There, I don't want to get over 50. All right, let me just put the stop in back at the original place. All right, I just booked half. I had it set up to do it. I just don't want to flip too much over 50. Let me just see if there's anywhere we could lower it. I'm still in half this, though, because it's going to break 66. I think we have time, but let me just see here. No, nope, it has to go back to the original place. 68.15, 68.15, and I just got out of half, and that was the right thing to do. That was the right thing to do. Okay, now we can be relaxed. So as I was saying, I don't even remember what I was saying. Uh, does anyone have any questions? People in here in a trial, do you have questions? Old people, do you have questions? New people, do you have questions? Does anyone have any questions? Stop at 68.15, which is 1,000 miles away in KSS. And if you have to get going like now, you could just take the whole thing. Uh, I did decide to get out of half there. I didn't want to see it bounce over 50. That was a good decision. This time here is 10.15, so we should hold in here and flip down around and drop in the next 15-minute bar. But I think it's good. This moved more than a dollar. you got to get out of some here because it could push back up again. And I'm just seeing the market, the market's bullish. It doesn't mean this isn't going to keep going. If I thought that it wouldn't, I would have gotten out of the whole thing. But I think it benefits you to get out of some because that, that was a move. But I really, 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 really want to try to stay with at least the rest of the half to get it through the break because the target's really big. I just don't know if I'm going to be able to stay in it until then, until I have to leave. But I do have to get ready. So I could leave the trade on while I'm doing my hair and makeup. Uh, what time will it hit 66? That's what you want to know. 10.32. <laughs> Should we ask the magic eight ball? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Remember? I, I Here, I don't have it at my desk. Oh, my gosh. I'm so disorganized right now. Hold on. I'm going to go grab it. Give me one second. Okay. Actually, before we ask that, let's actually ask if we're going to get an easy gap tomorrow. Are we going to get an easy bearish gap tomorrow from the market? Survey says, <gasps> outlook good. Remember the last time we asked the Magic 8 ball, we got what we wanted. <laughs> Yay. Let me look and see what's up for tomorrow. Hold on. Here, this goes. It's gonna break the low. I hope. I hope. I hope people are. You're still in it. Here it goes. Here it goes. It's breaking the low right now. Beautiful. Let me slow it back. What am I talking about? Here it was almost like the minute I walked away. I just did it. <laughs> I was gonna do it. I thought it did. Hold on. It didn't quite yet. This is like pennies from heaven. 6620. All right. Well, 
I shouldn't say pennies from heaven, dollars from heaven. All right, let's see what's out for tonight. We, we have to make money, like, now. All right, the ones for tonight. A mat. Maybe. Maybe. This has volume. Sign us out tonight. I don't know what this does. I mean, I'll watch it for a gap down. S Y M C. We might have. We might have something good tonight. I think some of these are going to work out. Okay, but this is a nice call. Just stay with it here. All right, anyone else have any other questions? It did just touch down on 20. And it's, this is going to break 66, but you got to try to hold it through that. I did the right thing about getting out of half. Uh, time of the day here is still fine, 10.15. And the market, I, I believe, is going to make an attempt to get over the high. It still could do it today. It's just getting, it's it's grinding itself up. It came in, came in, came in, came in, came in, and it's doing the grind. And and the spy really looks like it's going to make a new high today. And I kept saying it for days. I said it, I said it last week, and then I said it again this week, and it really is going to. I mean, it could happen today. I said that. But even if it doesn't get over the high today, it will tomorrow. So I didn't give exact entries with this today for the long side, but I said you could go long the market. I mean, I just get up every day and say go long the market. It's there's no reason to even call it, talk about it anymore, actually. Just, just go long the market every day. So tonight we have three things. Let me just say here, I forgot what they are. Oh, Sina and Amat. We broke it by a couple of cents, and every time we do, it's good. Uh, funny that you mentioned that you changed your nickname and not of the Magic 8-Ball. Oh, is that what that, that is? Why did you put 88 then? See, I'm confused. Magic 88, that's what's confusing. Why didn't you just put Magic 8? The two 8s there, I didn't know that was the 8-Ball. And... Magic are the initials of your wife and kids. Eight is a lucky number in the Chinese culture, so double the luck. Oh, double the luck. Eight is a magic, is a lucky number in Chinese culture. I didn't know that. That's interesting, you know. Wow, something's going to happen to me in August, too, in the eighth month of this year. Eight is a lucky number. Well, that's interesting. I'll have to read about it online. <laughs> there I go. Okay, so that's for the eight ball. It's good. I like the name. And Trader Gal, I missed your name, but I really think you need to change it to Dominatrix as we discussed yesterday. <laughs> I think you need to do that next week. All right, does anyone have any questions about anything here exactly for what you're doing? You either made a decision that you're staying with this through the break of 66 to get the momentum or you're all out and you've been all out and you made more than a dollar and you should be up. And if you did JCPenney once or twice or 50 times, it doesn't matter. Here we go, KSS. I said this would break 66 by 1032. He's going to do it early. Oh, there, I just heard that noise. Can you hear me or did I lose the internet? Oh, my Lanta. Can everybody hear me? 
I just heard that pop again. I'm still live here though, with my platform and everything. Can everybody hear me in the room? Can you hear me or not? Yes or no? Let me know if you can hear me. I can't, I can't reboot now though. I'm in this trade live and I, I, I'm, everything's fine with my platform and stuff. Just let me know if you can hear me or not. If not, I, there's nothing I can do right now. I can't hear. Oh my gosh, this is such a good call. I'm so glad I know what I'm doing. I'm so glad I believe in myself, even the days when it's hard. I always believe in myself. Boy, this, this is going to turn out to be a nice week here now. Let's just see where this goes. <clears throat> Did I just scream? Great call. Thank you, Discipline Dude. Discipline Dude, are you still in it? I know you said you took out a sum. Did you hold some of it? I hope you did. I hope you did. You're going to trail another two minute? That's fine too. Well, 66 isn't the target. This is just what I wanted to see it do to get the, to get the target. This is going to get to the target now, though. I mean, I told you 64, but, you know, I think this, we get this down possibly another dollar here in the next 15, 20 minutes. Let's just see. I mean, this, this, is, this is going. This is, this is nice. Let, let me just look at the market. And all of this is happening, and all of this is going on, and everything is happening with this while that is doing that. I mean, this is just so good. Yep, let's milk it. Milk it, milk it, milk it. Let me just look at this. Jaguar Paw, Greg Homeless, you're holding your position, watching it closely bar by bar. Look at where this went. Jeez Louise. 4340. dollars in the day yesterday on this sucker. You've got to be kidding me. Oh my Lanta. <gasps> ah! <sighs> All right, this is it. This is it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Jaguar Pod, it was such a nice email you wrote me. It was such a nice email. It was such a nice email you wrote me. I actually sent it to someone. That was just so nice. Thank you so much. In fact, I'm going to put it on the website. Here we go. Under 80, KSS and 75 and 70, 60, 50, 40, everything go. Time of the day is 1023. Oh, don't you dare, don't you dare. Okay, now is where it gets sticky. I know it's going to keep going now. I know it's just going to keep going and 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 going. Nice selling action in this now. And what you have now, let's go over this. What you have now is that people are trying to go long and aren't, aren't trying to go long it anymore. Now, the, in the morning, there were people that went long this. Traders went long this. It was the wrong thing to do, but they bought it as a gap fill. And it is a strong stop, but it was never a buy. But you had traders buying it a couple of different places in there in the morning, okay? But the reality was that you don't anymore. No one even that's a trader is trying to buy this anymore. They're all stopped out. And they're not going to attempt to buy it again. They'll see that it's a failure. So you should have straight selling in this now. But you will have some short covering that will make the occasional green bar. I don't think this sets up right again to short at all today, though. Unless it's like 2 o'clock in the afternoon on a 15-minute chart. So it's up to you if you want to take it all in here now. This is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful move. But it is underway. It, it is going. But you're, you don't have to contend with people going long anymore. You keep splitting up what you have left? That's fine. The only problem is, Trader Gal, this is why you don't have the big days that you want to. So then when something doesn't work, you're down the full 1R. And then when something does work and goes 
really good, like DD or this, you don't get the maximum move of the stock with your position. So that's the thing, or even halvesies of it. So that's, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't have a solution for you for that. Unless you're gonna get out of every trade that goes one R, I, I don't know, I, 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 don't, I don't know, you gotta figure that out. But that is why you're not seeing more money. And then when the days they don't work, you are down the one R of the day of the loss of the one. So I, I don't know what to tell you with that. You get the majority out at one R. But what but 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 here here's the thing here. This was more than one R into like there was no reason to get out of any of this in at, at all until in here, which was more than one R. So like you, I don't even know why you got out of any of this in, in, at all until here. Like this would have been a valid place to exit half the position here. Time of the day, placement, not breaking through yet. So you came down in here and then it didn't really push the break. This is, this is valid to take it here. You could have taken the whole thing here. I mean, I, I couldn't have faulted you for taking the entire trade off here. This is, you know, a dollar thirty, dollar forty, whatever, wherever you got filled. I mean, this is. I couldn't. If you took the whole trade off here, you, you could, you could, you, you could have done that. All right, we have to pay attention here now, Angus. I'm talking, 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 talking. All right, so the low here is eighty. This is eighty three. Jagger Paw says everything came from the heart. Thank you. Those are the best things. All right, so what I would like to see happen is Coles to go back down and break through the low while I'm getting ready for my meeting. And and if it doesn't, then it doesn't, but I still think it does. Um, you could have gotten out of the whole thing down in there at really at 65.80, but that wasn't a number anywhere. This is bouncing back though now into 10.30. I got out of half of it a while back. Otherwise, I probably would have just taken the whole thing down in there. But this isn't done for the day. Jeez, how am I going to manage this now that I have to leave? Uh, let's just see. I still have time. Okay, does anyone have any questions? I put the list of things in the room for the watches for tonight. I really don't have 100% conviction in any of the watches for tonight to actually gap down. So you have to just wait and see what we get tomorrow. I'd like to get a good one tomorrow. It would be great if we do. JC Penny really was the fastest, quickest play today. And look, it didn't ever break eight. So I hope if you did the second trade I called, you scalped out of it. That was the right thing to do. Maybe this sets up on the 15-minute chart and later breaks eight today. But... I don't even have 100% conviction that happens because the market's very bullish. The short, the first short was the best in the morning, right out of the gate, and then the second call I made, target was eight. That was too big of a move, too fast for that stock to go again any harder in the day. I think the stock is played out here today. This is just exhausted now. It's total exhaustion. Look at the volume in it even. It is just, it's tired. The market is higher. I'm not sure if we get over the high today or not. It's 10.30, we still could. If we retest 212 or 213, we could blow over the high, or we close rallying into the close into 4 o'clock and then gap up after hours and into tomorrow. No big names out tonight, though, so I, I think we just trade here today, hold bullishly, possibly run up over the high tomorrow on a Friday into the weekend. I think we could just do that. Uh, and the Qs could run a little bit more today here, up to 109.50, 109.75-ish, 110. You don't have any shorts being stopped out yet. All the people that shorted the market. All the people that shorted the market in the world. Look at how many people there were in this that shorted this and came in, made a lower high and a lower low and another lower high and another lower low. And all of these things are happening and the market's already over this area here. But you don't have shorts killing their, their short position yet. And I don't even think you do until over 111, 112 in the Qs and 113 in the SPY and... Look for the blow to happen. Just look for a complete blow to happen. Um, okay, here. Now, let's see.
we, we really could have gotten this really was almost two dollars in here i just I, I just realized that now this really was almost two dollars in here i just i just realized that now it, it just was moving so fast it's 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 hard i'm talking i'm looking i'm talking i'm thinking i'm talking i'm looking it's a lot going on Jaguar Paw believes it still goes lower. So do I, or I just take it. But I just see what happened. I just see that we just, we actually, that was just almost $2. So maybe we should have just taken it. But it's still, it's still lower. And it is going to break the low, and it did already break 66. And <clears throat> But if you have to go, you should have gotten out of the low. If you have to go somewhere. Now we have to wait for the whole 15 minute to trade out. But I have to get ready anyways. All right, any questions from anyone? It, it was a nice morning. We had to wait. We were patient, though. I jumped the gun on this. It really would have been worth it. Didn't even matter in the end. Do you see here how try to people try to buy it? They bought it over the high. They bought a one-minute high on this, thinking it would do a gap fill. It's exactly what happened in here. This was such a nice play. I just golfed. And this happened, and we had to stop at the right place. And this happened, and we had to stop at the right place. And this happened, and it kept us in within two cents. And then this happened, and then people added to the long that they were already in. And look where it broke. Such a nice call. A call of reading what the institutions were going to do in the day. Because traders bought this stock on the day, and they lost. It was not a long, it was a short. And I read in the gap rating that the institutional money would sell out of it today. But the chart in this is strong. This didn't break anything here. KSS fell today, and, and it was a short today, but not in the long term. Okay? So just to review. Nice short here in KSS. I do like it today, short or I wouldn't have taken it. But in the longer term picture, this is not lower. This is a strong, strong stock that just so happened to get that gap down today. This does not break this chart. This chart is still on an uptrend. There's really nothing wrong with it here. So we shorted this today, but in the long term, I must be clear, the stock is still on an uptrend and you can't be in this short overnight. And, the, and it's a strong chart. The market's just very bullish. Do I believe this will be a good continuation gap? If this gets to 64 today, the answer is no. If it doesn't, the answer is yes for one more day down. But quite frankly, I really wouldn't be overnight this, given the strength in the chart and the market. And I'm telling you, the market makes a new high between today and tomorrow and Monday. I mean, it is, this is, look, this is, I mean, this, I know this is, cause like, it looks like it's dollars away, but in my mind, it looks like pennies. It, it, I know this is like, it looks like dollars away. This is a dollar, it looks like dollars away. It's a dollar fifty in the SPY, and the QQQs to make a new high over 111 is 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 two dollars, but to me it's pennies. It looks like pennies. Like to me, the way when I look at this here, just pretend you're in my mind, which you can't be, and no one can. But if you if you looked at my mind, if you were inside of my mind, I look at this and I'm like, oh my Lanta. This looks like it could happen in any second. Like any second buying could come in, this could happen in 60 seconds or less. It could happen in 45 seconds the market could get over the high. And don't think it can't do it. It could happen in a bar like this, it just goes immediately over it and blows. I'm telling you, I I see it. It's going to happen. I see it. I've been seeing it for months and months and weeks and days and hours and months. And when I look at this, this looks like it's pennies away from doing it. It looks like it's less than a penny away and could happen in a millisecond. That's that's the strength I see in this market. I mean, it's it's, it's almost unreal. It's surreal. It's, it's almost unreal. I, I have to come up with a name for the bullishness in this market, and I have yet to do it. And yes, here we go. Oh, my Lanta. Okay, this is it for me. One more break through the low, I'm all out of the KSS. And in fact, what we could do is lower the stop. Shall we? Yes. Let's not argue with fate. 65 and 60, time of the day is 1034-ish. Wait for the five-minute bar to close. I'm not getting.
looking at it anything here yet. I'm saying I'm trying to figure something out here that I can lower the stop for myself because of the fact that I have to leave somewhere in the next really two hours maximum. So I, I am going to lower the stop in this. But if you want to play it through all day, just keep it at 68.15 or put it at break even. Put it at break even. You want to be in it all day, put it at break even. I'm trying to find a place to lower this. I didn't do it yet. I want I just want to wait like a smidgen here. Just trying to think of the best place we could do it. It really is there though, I think. Like if I think of it rallies over here, it's not that it's not lower in the day, but basically it is in the, like it would take like a while to reset up today. Like it would be on the 15 minutes set up. Like it wouldn't reset up quick then. Let's just wait a little bit more here. I know this is still lower. Dow is at a 52 week high. All right, that's good to know. I haven't looked at this in a hundred years. When does Hog have earnings? Quick, look it up. When's the next earning on, earnings on Hog? What the heck did Hog do today? Something must have happened here. It didn't gap. It just opened and fell out of the sky. Well, there, something must have happened here. It 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 actually did technically gap, but it didn't have any pre-market volume, so you wouldn't have known it was gapping. It just opened and fell off the planet, and the volume came in then in the, yeah, the volume came in here. I mean, you would have never known to get this. You could have done this though and looked up, uh, look it up in the scanner. I mean, even this was a dollar. Did did something happen with this today? Can you look it up and see if it was news or something? It had like one tick right before 9:30, like a 9:27. Well, that's a waste of a nice short move in there, but. There's no way you could have gotten it unless you saw it in the scanner later. Four twenty one were the earnings. All right, then this already had the earnings. Interesting. No reason you can find on that. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so here's the plan of action. Once this breaks 30, which it should soon, I'm gonna put the stop at this at 75, and that's plenty. That'll take care of any little jiggies or whatever. 66.75, after breaks 30, that's my plan of action. And then anywhere through the low, before I have to go, I'll take it out. Whether it gets down to 65 or the next number. <laughs> this, this, will, this will get to 64 today though. I just. Unless this happens quickly, I mean, I get it. This is such a good call. Here it goes. Here, let's lower the stop right now. Lower it. Boom. Boom. Okay. Great job, everyone, today. Does anyone have any questions? We've been solid this week as a brick. Let's just keep doing it. Don't know what we'll get tomorrow. No idea that I get up in the morning. I may or may not look at stuff tonight. Sometimes I need a 24-hour break of looking at charts. 
Remember, I said the time it would hit 66, I said before 1032. It did. It actually broke. It, I said before 1032. It broke it around 1021. 6675. You should lower your stop too if you want to stay in this. If you're still in this, and, and, and if you're all out of this, then you're all out of this. Target? Did Target even gap today? I only do gaps. A second time? I'll look at that in a minute. Target did gap today. I didn't see anything in this morning about this. I didn't even see it anywhere. Oh, here, this is why. Something must have happened here. I don't know. I don't know why this did this. This gapped at 915, so I didn't do anything with it. It just gapped right before the open. Very similar to Hog, except for this actually had volume at 915. But I didn't go back and relook for new stuff at 915. Let's see if this actually set up right. Let me look. Oh, this was crap. This was, this is really crappy. I, I I didn't do it, obviously. I did the best thing. And JCPenney was the second best. I mean, JCPenney and the, the calls I made today were the best. This was nowhere near any good from the calls that I made. This is very crappy looking. I'm not sure how the GAT would have rated, quite frankly, but you could have rated it. You had 15 minutes to do it and then figure out what you're going to do with it with the numbers. But to be honest with you here, this was too, very, very hard. Very, very hard. It did have the move. You had to catch it at the right place with the right stop and get out exactly. I don't bet the farm on this today to fall off a planet. I don't see it happening. Market is crazy strong. I'm not crazy about the gap. I didn't rate it. I'm not going to go back and do it now because I'm done for the day soon out of the KSS. But don't think this is falling off the planet. I wouldn't be surprised if this flips. This is not going to follow through. There's nothing in here that I even like bearish. And if you short it, it should be all around. This is bearish at least for the short term. It should break 60. It's going to break 66 any second now. You wanted it to happen, trader gal? You're getting your dream. Great day, everyone. I mean, really nice. And, and, and good practice for those of you that held the DD. And again, with this one, too. You're getting good practice here this earnings season. Very, very nice. And you could have done two things today again. And great job, Moonraker, for doing the JCPenney. I don't know if you did it once or twice. I, I don't know if anybody else even did it, but Moonraker did it. If you're going to move the stop, I say 30. Don't let it get over 30. 25 is nothing. Here, it's going to ding you out right now. Make it 30-something. Okay. Put it at 32. Do you really want to be tight? I wouldn't be any tighter than that. All right, any questions from anyone? If not, I'm going to let everybody go. I have to get ready. I'm still in this, but I lowered the stop, so but I have to keep checking it. Let's just see what happens here with this, and it's good no matter what it does. I mean, there's, you can't lose in this now. You couldn't lose in it since, since it stayed with itself. And again, a beautiful call because traders tried to buy this today. It, it, this was such a good call. We'll go over it later when we have time. If there's nothing Monday, we'll go over it. I'm sure we'll have something tomorrow, and I do want to have a lecture on racks. I just don't know when we're going to do that. The next day we have nothing, I'll talk about racks. Classes this weekend for any new people that want to sign up. Deadline to sign up is tomorrow. Peter, I did get your email. You can do the retake this weekend. That's fine. You have to email me for the sign-up forms for the class, and then I email them to you. That's how you sign up for the class. Email me if you want to sign up, then I send you the forms, and then you fill them out and send them back. Okie doke. You're welcome, Jaguar Paul. Have a wonderful day, you too. And good job. Congratulations to everyone for holding this through. You really, really did a great job here today. You're learning. You're doing well. You're making money. It's all good, okay? Tested the conviction today and yesterday. It's all good. And look how strong the market is, too. You're welcome, everyone. I'll see you tomorrow.